Hello, my loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, let's get started, Taurus. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, and love messages do we have here today for my Taurus, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Taurus, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my Taurus, 2021. So we have the full Aries energy. And we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. We have the Devil, Capricorn energy. Temperance, oh wow. <laughs> uh, Sagittarian energy. The Prince of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. And the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Taurus, I feel like... Um, Someone is willing to do or say anything to get someone into a contract or a commitment here. Um, I gotta be honest, I feel like someone may be using magic here, okay? Um, the problem is, is I feel like someone is kind of stuck in this energy of, do I want to do this the right way and, you know, get this person the right way, or do I want to do this the bad way, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, Page of Wands and the Magician. This person is definitely talking, uh, praying, manifesting. I feel like someone's working magic here. It could be good magic. It could be bad magic. I don't know. But I feel like someone is taking serious risks um, because they want someone to commit to them. They want someone to commit to them. So that could be you, Taurus. It could be your person. We have the Queen of Cups that popped out here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. And we have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We have the Sun, Leo, Energy. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like someone here is in love and is trying to come up with a plan. They're trying to... Um, get control of a situation is what I'm feeling here. I feel like, um, I feel like someone is coming to the realization that they are borderline obsessed with this connection. They realize that. They're coming to this realization. So Taurus, this could be you, could be someone that feels this way about you. And the, someone's trying to work on tempering their emotions and calming down. Page of Wands and the Nine of Swords. The Magician and the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. I feel like someone is really scared that this connection is dying off or that this connection is going to end or that um, someone's going to lose somebody completely. Do you understand? Um, I, I feel like there's just a, someone here is over the top of in love and obsessed. So I don't know if that's you, Taurus, or your person. We've got the Empress here. Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian Energy, and the Two of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy, and we have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like someone is in a relationship, Taurus. Someone may very well be in a relationship, and what this person wants, this person that feels this way, is for this person to run off, abandon ship, and be with them. Eight of Swords. And the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Someone here wants to, to tell someone how much they love them. Yeah. What someone here wants to happen is someone to leave their relationship and come towards them. We've got the Eight of Wands. We have back together again. Yeah, someone here wants communication. You may have already been this, with this person. This may be an ex. It could be someone that you spoke to temporarily. Um, I feel like someone here has fallen for someone that's married or in a relationship. We have the Four of Pentacles. 
We have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel that maybe someone here, this could be an ex or it could be someone that you just spoke to very quickly. Do you see what I'm saying? Like maybe you went on one date or you guys had a conversation. I feel like with the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, um, this person walked away. The Star, Aquarian Energy, and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like somebody wants something, they're hoping for something, they're praying for something, but they're not receiving, like in the 3D world, they're not receiving enough to have all of this hope and faith that it's going to work out. Does that make sense? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like someone is really wanting something to work out, but there, there's no, um, there's no, uh, on the other person's part, there's no work that's being put in. There's nothing happening with the other part. Like, it's a one-sided thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is a one-sided thing. Clarity, guidance, love messages. This could be a situation where there was a quick rebound. Like, maybe somebody was fighting with their person. And, you know, they started talking to you. Or you started talking to somebody. And then, boom, it, like, it ended just as quick as it begun. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, because I'm seeing that here, like, someone just had, like, a quick conversation, whatever, and then boom, it was over. Do you see what I'm saying? Boom, it was over. The Fool card and the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Hierophant, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it, this is exactly what I was saying. I feel like someone here was in a higher level of commitment, and, you know, with that Lovers card, with that Lovers card and that Nine of Wands, someone was in a commitment pursuing a connection, not pursuing a connection, but maybe, like, they were fighting with their person, so they just went off to date someone, you know? We've got the Devil and the Tower, Temperance and the Two of Cups. I feel like... Someone is very much in their head, like someone fell in love instantly at first sight, okay? If someone fell in love instantly, they felt a soulmate connection, they're obsessed with the fact that this is a soulmate connection, um, Page of Wands and the Sun, the Magician and the Four of Swords, someone here feels like they were manipulated, like they were used, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, like someone feels hurt by the fact that it just, it ended before it started because they fell in love so quickly. Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords, Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like what's happening here is someone fell in love and then they had to watch someone leave. Do you understand? And even though it's taking forever, someone is trying to gain control back. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my goodness. God bless me. The truth that was a strong sneeze um so yeah the uh, the truth i feel like the, i mean even though it's taking forever someone here wants to still gain control over the situation with the sun and the two of wands the eight of pentacles and the five of cups i feel like somebody wants to come to the realization like i feel like the person that got left behind is waiting for someone to regret their choice and say oh i made the wrong decision i want to come back to you nine of swords and the king of cups see we got the king to the queen of cups here and the death card with the emperor aries taurus energy so someone felt a strong soul tie connection a lot of love in this connection i feel like this was a very quick thing though I don't feel like this was a full-blown connection. I feel like someone was in a higher level of commitment. They they got into a fight with their person. Um, they went on a date. They were talking to a few different people. You know, like, it wasn't even... They were talking to a few different people. Do you see what I'm saying? And that could have been you, Taurus. It could be your person. And someone just up and fell in love. Like, in love, in love. Do you understand? King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Someone here really fell in love, believing that this is a soulmate connection. We should be together. But with the Death card and the Emperor, I feel like, you see, we've got the Emperor, the Empress, the Two of Cups, the, the Hierophant, the Lovers. This person is in a way higher level of commitment. Tell me about this Empress and the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy, Two of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, see, this Empress knows. This Empress was maybe just looking for attention and to flirt with somebody, but this Empress knows who their person is. They know that they have an Emperor in their life. Knight of Wands and the Hanged Man, Five of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Yeah, see, someone here maybe came, flirted a little bit, and then went back to their husband, back to their wife, or whatever. Like, this was just a rebound thing. It was just a quick thing. Eight of Swords and the World, the Prince of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like whatever flirtatious things were said, someone has really held on to them. They really held on to them, you know? Um, 
But like, you know, when you go on a date and you're like, yeah, we're going to get a house in like, you know, Florida. Oh, you like to fish? I like to fish too. Oh, we need to buy a house in the Florida Keys, right? Like, it's a joke. It's flirtatious, right? And, you know, someone took that serious. Like, yes, we are going to buy a house in the Florida Keys because I love you and we're going to be together forever, you know? And I, someone was taking things way too seriously, right? Um, it, it was just a very quick rebound type of thing. You know, we've got, so we've got the four of wands and the eight of wands back together again in the ace of cups. I feel like what someone wants to hear here is I'm leaving my marriage. I'm leaving my person. I'm coming back to you because I love you. Eight of swords. This is what this person can't stop, you know, imagining or thinking. Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Cups and the Page of Wands. Um, I feel like what's happening here is someone's losing hope. Someone's eventually going to just get tired of being in this energy of waiting, waiting, waiting. I feel like someone's going to try to communicate, but the connection is so emotionally adrift. It's so like there's nothing there, you know, the Star card and the Three of Swords. Someone's starting to realize the painful realization that this is not going to come together. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. They're there's no equal res there's no equal res 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 what's the word there's no equal give and take here. You see what I'm saying? Feelings are not mutual here. Feelings are not mutual. And someone's starting to wake up and come to this realization that, you know, it's just the other person does not feel the same way. And it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. So Taurus, that might be you. That might be your person. Someone's going to wake up and start to realize that the other person just simply does not feel the same way. We've got courage. We've got deserving and we've got a creative endeavor. So I feel like someone is going to finally stand up for themselves and realize that they deserve something better and move on from this. You know what I'm saying? Move on and go create with someone else. Um, you know, it's going to take courage to really face the facts that, okay, this person doesn't feel the same way. It's time for me to move on. You know, we've got anxiety. We've got deceit. And we've got appreciation. So I feel like someone's just going through a really hard time here because they feel like they were lied to or they feel like they were played. Do you understand? Um, and with appreciation, I feel like this person is, again, coming to this understanding that they deserve something better. They deserve someone that appreciates them and loves them. Um, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's going to hurt for a minute. It's going to hurt for a minute. Um, yeah, I feel like someone is fighting this ending. Someone does not want the cycle to close. They don't want this to be over you know someone doesn't want to lose hope but at the end of the day there's nothing feeding this there's nothing fueling the hope here it's not like you know if you break up with your person and your person still kind of calls you hey how you doing hey i miss you hey i wish you were here you know there's nothing that's fueling hope that this may come back together again right um there's there's just nothing here there's nothing here oh Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And worth waiting, divine timing is at work in your love life. So I feel here, Taurus, that somebody did make the effort because they felt like this love was worth it. So they did make the effort, okay? They did make the effort. I feel like with healing family issues, the person, though, went back and healed their main relationship do you understand um i feel like you thought this was worth waiting for someone thought that divine timing would bring this person back i'm not really feeling that though i'm not gonna lie we've got children here your love life is being affected by children and true love so i feel like you're gonna be either a for giving this person learning your lesson moving on to a new love a true love um or b is that this person has true love already they may have children with this person with the emperor and the empress they may have a family with this person do you see what i'm saying um i see you moving on to something better here yeah i feel you moving on to something better taurus something that's more deserving of your time and attention okay i love you guys bye